One of the best way to add detail into your scenes is adding brick elements like these called flagstone tiles. If you add some grass in between them, they can really, really look great in your renders. Now I'm going to show you how to procedurally make them using geometry nodes. So if this is something that you want to add to your arsenal, just sit tight. It's not going to be a quick tutorial. So if you don't like deep explanations, you might want to skip this. But otherwise, sit with me and download the project files in the description so that you can follow along with me. Other than that, let's just jump right in. Okay, so this is the final product. Uh, you can see we have some grass, we have some rocks, and uh, it's all procedural. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a brick pattern. Let's use a curve line. And uh, this curve line should be running on the Y direction. Just like that. Now we can make it longer or we can make it shorter. Let's turn this into points using a curve to points node. Uh, let me just use a, a, radius, a set radius, set point radius so that these points are easier to see for you. So those are our points. Now we can create another curve line. Uh, this time we want it to run on the X I like that. Okay, let me just bring this up a bit so that you can see everything and maybe get rid of the grid and flow. So we have that line. Let's instance that line on this point. So using the instance on points node, just like that. Now we can see that these points have become these lines. Now we can, we still have control over the length of these. So we have this. Now if we extrude uh, this, this, I remember these are now instances, uh, but originally there were curves here. So we need to realize realize these instances so that they become geometry and that we not we need to convert these to curves so that we can use the extrude node or we want to extrude edges and that we want to extrude these in this direction to make this a brick and uh, to do that we need to change the offset so that these are extruding in the y direction so give this a value of one connect that into the offset yeah, that works perfectly. Now you can see each row contains one brick. We want multiple bricks. So to do that, we can come here. I remember these are still curves. We can resample the curve, basically adding more subdivisions into the curve. You can see now the curve has more lines. So the more subdivisions we have here, the more we have the, like that. Now, one other thing we could do before we extrude this is split these these edges uh, because right now what we have uh, if i turn off wireframe we have a single edge that is being extruded into this block but what we can do is split edges and to show you what we have done here uh, let me first bypass all of this and just take a look at this uh, we can use a scale elements and change this to edge and if we scale this down you can see that each edge has been split uh, so that we have independent edges. Now, if we extrude this, we get something like this. We get basically a grid pattern. Bricks don't have a grid pattern like this. They usually offset a bit. So before we extrude, we can use a set position and use a noise, a noise texture to offset these, these edges in the uh, y direction. So if I use a combine x, y and just place these in the x direction and move it in the x direction like that, uh, I think we need to subtract 0.5 from the noise to make it work correctly. So you can see that we split edges here to disconnect each edge so that it's independent and then now we are affecting each edge independently using the noise. So we are scaling them individually using uh, this. These lines are now offset and uh, depending on the size of the noise, uh, this is going to look different. We can even use another math node uh, with the multiply operation. So we can have some offset. Make sure, just be on the lookout for these intersections. Make sure there isn't that much intersection between uh, these. From there, we can extrude this up. So we use an extrude, and uh, this time we want to extrude faces and turn off individual 
faces and uh, yes extrude up just like that if you look at this you can see the heights are different are also random so what we can do is use a random value plug that into the radius and just tap so that we have something uh, like that you can see how these are built uh, let me change the shading to flat shading so i'll use a shade shade smooth and make sure this is flat so we have something like that now we want this to be offset so, yeah so something like that now one other thing you might notice about these bricks is that some of them are a bit chipped have damage and they are not clear cut as this so if you want to add that we need to come back before the extrusion actually after the first extrusion this here when everything is offset convert this to curves uh, mesh to curve so that this becomes something like this uh, this will allow us to resample the curve so that we have more points and you can see uh, if we fill this curve and basically turn it into a mesh and run the extrusion on top of this i think i need to reverse this you can see we we get something uh, but uh, we're also losing some of the randomization so let's first work on uh, just adding more detail to these curves at this stage so let's first resample this uh, add more points to make these to maintain the shape of the bricks and uh, if you use a set position and add some noise as offset uh, noise a noise texture as the offset just like that i uh, remember we need to subtract uh, since this noise usually comes with uh, an offset we need to subtract that offset so vector math and subtract 0.5 and uh, the strength of the noise is too much so i'm going to scale it down using a scale operation so something like that you can see that we are getting some randomization we still have control over the offset just like that another way to get more offset because right now there isn't a lot of offset as you can see is we can come back i think right around here and use a set position and this can allow us to move this on the would it be the uh, the x-axis yeah just like that uh, if you use a combine xyz so that we only affect the x-axis uh, we can use the index plug it into the x and that will offset everything on the x just like that but if we have a math node and change this operation to i think it is is a uh, modular by two as uh, some will go in this direction some will go in this direction uh, because remember the index is just counting from zero one two three four five six seven eight nine just like that so if we plug this into the x uh, this is going to be offset here by zero here by one here by two here by three and that's before we have the modular uh, here by four five until it goes up now when you use the modular you're basically dividing each value by two and getting the remainder so zero divided by two basically that is just zero we have one divide by two which is 0 0.5 so that is going to be rounded off to one so this is moved a unit one in the x direction and then the second one has an index of two so two divide by two that gives us one with a remainder of zero so this is moved a unit of zero and uh, this is this being three index three it will be three divide by two this will be one with a remainder of five uh, so basically the modular is just giving you the remainder so that would be 5 or 0 0.5 which is going to be rounded to 1 and uh, that's why this is moved a unit of 1 and so that 
that's why we get this repeating pattern the offset right now is too much so i'm just going to come in here and multiply it to make it settle just like that and now if we realize instance resample and then convert to, to curve uh, split edges and scale them you can see now we have uh, these already offset so this noise is just helping with uh, the scale so that some are bigger some are, are larger so we're not using this noise anymore for offsetting things we're just using them to change the size of uh, the noise so let's do 0.1 so you can have more control over everything so just like that then we extrude change these to curves I resample them and add some noise and you can see now if we go back to our offset we can make the offset stronger so we really have control over this now and again we can change the size of the brick so we can have some really large bricks and some really small bricks now that is all going to be relative to the scale of the noise okay so after that we fill this in I uh, yeah, we have to fill it in just like that and then do the rest of the things but here we are running into a problem if we use a random value it's randomly pushing these vertices up instead of pushing the faces uh, directly so now we can just create a simple offset and just use a set position here and uh, we can still use the, the random value but we need to make sure that geometry nodes understands that we want to randomize the faces instead of the points let's use a random value we can plug this in the z to get the same results and uh, to make sure that these are extruded per face we can use the mesh island mesh island now this gives us an island index which we can plug into the id that way geometry nodes understands that we want to create the same random value for each island for each individual island we're also pulling the points the bottom point so let's use the top selection so that only the top faces are being moved so we have something like that now there are so many things you can do here uh, what you can do is use another extrude node here and i uh, only extrude the top faces so if we go to wireframe you can see we have extruded this once again but we want to extrude it very slightly so 0 0.0 maybe 5 and then scale elements scale elements just like that and let's use the top selection again to scale this in basically creating a bevel just like that you can repeat this one more time so just the top and again extrude or scale are this in like that so th the other thing is uh, you can do a set shade smooth so this looks smoother now the other thing is to create some grass between uh, the gaps which is quite easy to instance grass between between the gaps we can go back to our curves here and uh, create another branch that is going to be our grass so we can just use a resample curves and you can see that these outlines match up with match up with the gaps we have so we can come in here i uh, resample this to make it smoother and instance on points on the curve points uh, we can instance whatever we want let's try a cube cube connect this and let's scale it down and you can see now that becomes the gap so you can join this and uh, you can even use a set position to push these up so you just switch this out with some grass actually i have botanical installed so let's do exactly that i'm going to spawn uh, some grass object 
let's use something simple just like this basic grass and uh, we can bring that in let me change to the outliner here so i'll bring this in and make sure i use it as an instance since it's an instance and now we should see our grass why is this yeah okay the scale was simply down so you can see what we have under this resample uh, gives you the the size or we can use curve two points curve two points so that we even have our rotation information that we can plug in now it's going in the wrong direction so we can use our rotate rotation rotate rotation uh, that way we can rotate this and is it negative 90 degrees okay so, so this okay this is correctly rotated now we can randomize the rotation let me just use a random value should be a vector connect this here and we want to mostly randomize uh, the z and maybe a bit in the x and y just like that i also want to randomize uh, the scale uh, you can get rid of some of the points by using a noise so just connect this to the selection and use a compare node or a ramp a car ramp with a uh, set to constant that way i have control over this again we have this to just reposition at the grass uh, just like that another thing we can do is if we look at our gaps here if you look at our curves here if you add something like a, a grid and uh, set it as the boundaries and make it fit the boundaries of our mesh uh, let's convert it to a curve so to curve mesh to curve just like that and uh, we need only the boundary vertices uh, let's join our original mesh we can make sure that this grid is in the center of our geometry by just using the attribute statistics uh, for this uh, for these for these curves and what we want is get the median position of these points so let's change this to vector get the position get the position and just set it as the offset Of this object so if we take a look at this now this should always be in the middle so if I scale this down it should scale in the middle like that now if we join these two curves just like that and fill mesh fill curve you can see it gives us the gaps between are the faces scale this down to fit correctly now instead of using actual curves we can use uh, this mesh let's just come here and uh, distribute distribute points on faces and now you can see now where our curves our grass is going to be and now we can use this as the new points that's how you do that everything else is just materials and making things look prettier if you want to check out the project files links are going to be in the description on my gumroad patreon and my youtube membership page